So hey everybody, I am at the trailhead. It's for we're doing Santanoni on Sunday. Today is Friday. It is 5:47, so we're going to hike in to the lean-to today, and then tomorrow we're going to wake up bright and early and hopefully do Panther and Kuxakraga. But uh, we'll see about that because they're both uh, trailless peaks, so. We don't know what, exactly what we're getting into, so we'll see. <laughs> Get in there. That is all of our food for the next three days. I don't know what I did to be zip tie. And so that sorry. on the top is Eli's food for the next three days. No. Consists of these tuna fish. And tuna fish. I don't know fish. where your zip tie went, so I'm sorry, but it's gone. Okay. <laughs> we'll make do without it. Are you going to be able to screw that in there? <laughs> Okay, as you guys can clearly see, we're right here. We've got about one uh, one point eight in, and we're about to split. As we you can see over there. Blue trail markers, yeah, we do got blue trail markers. So if you just pan up, blue trail marker. Boom. I see no trail. I don't even know where that would go. <laughs> Maybe someone. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's no mountain over there that I know. Of. I mean that. It does kind of look like a mountain, but it's not on It's, it's not like a trail that way. And there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and all the mountains, as are, far as we know, unless we're super disoriented, are that way. <laughs> the entirely opposite direction. Like you can kind of see the one poking his head up over there. So who knows? Who knows? You love to see this kind of sign. It really it shows you you're in the right area. So hey guys, this is me in the future. Um, I didn't film the rest of the way to camp just because once we got to camp, uh, there were a bunch of people kind of in their tents getting ready for bed and stuff like that. So I decided not to film when I was trying to be quiet in consideration of everybody else. But uh, we did make it to camp. We set up, uh, we went to bed um, nice and early around, I think it was around nine o'clock. And uh, then we got up in the morning to do some mountains. So hello again and sorry the camera quality is so low. It is about not even six o'clock yet so that's why but uh, we are on the way to Panther. Actually we're on the way to Times Square first. I was gonna make a video last night of uh, arriving like at the campsite at the lean-to but uh, there were a ton of people everywhere so uh, Decided not to, just because people were kind of getting ready to go to sleep, so kept things quiet. And yet again, I don't have a filming of when we actually get to the campsite. <laughs> but yeah, woke up this morning and I shot an elephant in my pajamas. Look at that trail marker tree. Very cool. <laughs> it's pointing towards like the the swamp, but. This is this is what behind us, Eli. Bradley Pond. I think so. Bradley Pond. So, anyways, we're making our way towards Times Square. Hopefully, it will be relatively obvious when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> so we talked to a guy on the way in, and he seemed to be pretty helpful. So we're continuing on his advice since our map doesn't have any trails whatsoever. <laughs> Well, it has trails. This, this is a trail. This is a trail. Yeah, it doesn't have trails for the up to the mountain part. There are no trails. So, okay. yeah. All right, I will catch up with you guys when we get to Times Square. Yeah, look. Panther? I'm going to guess it's under... I'd say it's about 1.6, 1.8. So that shouldn't be all that bad. We're right, probably right about here where it starts getting steeper. <laughs> Seeing as it's getting steeper, we're about to go down again. Hey, you dig that? All right, so we are here at random piece of water, random piece of water C, we'll call it. 
about the third piece of water. There was the river on the way in, there was the random pond, and now this. So we're gonna fill up here, and hopefully that'll make us to the top. That is Eli, and that is not Eli. That's a cool view. <laughs> but anyways, we've been making our way up this kind of stuff, the lake. I don't want to call it a creek bed because it's not super wet, but we're like 95% sure we're doing panther now and not something else. Let's see, heart resting heart rate right now. About 120. So if you want to climb mountains, you want to do it fast, and you're in good shape but not great shape, then get used to having a heart rate over 120 for about three or four hours at a time. <laughs> or if you have a time to find the, I think it's a summit, so. Yeah, maybe. Time to find the uh, thing. <laughs> a little cap. Does this go just like straight over to Kusakraga then? All right, I'll check in with you guys if we find an actual summit. So that's over there is much higher than we are, so I'm pretty sure that's Panther. And then possibly that little bump over there, Kusakraga. It is one of the smaller. It is a short bump, but I mean. That must be it, because Kusakraga is under 4,000. Yeah. So I'm going to guess that there's probably a trail from the top that just walks this ridge. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, we are going to try to get over there without getting lost. Get selfie with it laying on our backs. <laughs> or that. There's the Panther Peak sign. One out of two. One That's out of two. the easy one though. Well, two for the day. So, this is the view from the summit. Uh, yeah, but the view from over there is pretty nice. You can see a nice little, nice little view over there. I can kind of pan above the trees for you. Panther pin? We got over there too. That's, that's, that's I don't even cool. know what this is over here. They look like cool mountains though. So we just got Panther down. Now we just went through Times Square. And we are following a trail, kind of a little herd path that we think is going in the general direction of Kusakraga. So we're hopeful that it will get us most of the way there so that we don't have to oh, so that we don't have to bushwhack because this is not the thinnest brush in the world so we are on it's not a trail we're just walking through the woods at this point we're gonna go until uh we think it gets too thick or uh not uh navigable but uh yeah, this is basically what we're looking at. Just kind of walking through this over in that general direction. <laughs> it's been uh, about four hours. No, I'm just kidding. That's what Eli wanted me to say. It's been like half an hour. We haven't found anything yet. So we're going to go back to the four corners, which hopefully we should find. If we don't find that, we're screwed. But <laughs> um, And then we're going to try to go back to Panther, possibly. See if we missed a trail from Panther up to up and along the ridge to Kusakraga because I don't know, I just find it hard to believe that there would literally be nothing, not even a little bit of a herd path for some of it. So we're gonna try to play the odds, see what we can find. So we went back to Four Corners, we did some poking around. Well, someone had a map that was more accurate. Somebody, we met somebody there who had a map, and uh, turns out it is pretty much just a straight shot. But this is this is the trail. Yep, that's the trail. Um, so pretty well horrible. Kind of just to the right, I think. I think it's to the left. All right, so we happened been. to run into this actual proper path like take a look at this and we're thinking it goes back to four corners via the santanoni route so we're rushing back towards times square to try to tell the people who are there 
that there's an actual path. We are on the actual trail to Gusakraga. We didn't find the people. We didn't find the people <laughs> to warn them, so I really hope that they uh, were able to straighten out the directions and uh, figure out kind of the trail. It's kind of tricky. We are nearing the fa the false summit, like the little bump in front of uh, Cooch. So this trail is a little skinny, but it's skinny and windy, but it's not like what we were trying the first three times we attempted to get over here, so. We made it to uh, Kuksukraga. It says on the sign right there. So, I don't know. It's like a decent summit. I don't see why people rate it last reviews. It's really not bad. But uh, anyways, probably going to take a quick break here and then get headed back down and mostly back up to Panther. So it was around this time um, that we ended up getting a text from the group we were going to climb Santanoni with on the next day, on Sunday. And they had uh, had a change of plans and they weren't going to end up doing it. So we just decided to add Santanoni in. We we're going to be up there at Times Square anyways. So uh, next clip is us on our way there. All right. So we went back up to, what's the place called, Dylan? Times Square. So we went back up to Times Square, took a quick break, ate like half a lunch. Now it is 11.47, we're heading up Santanoni. Well, we made it to the top of Santanoni. There we go. Um, it is 12.08, so I think we made pretty good time. What? Three mountains. In How the many mountain. hours is that? Seven hours? Six. Uh, 12. So Wait, it was like, six, oh, we like woke up at five. We six hours, like six hours, okay, yeah. I was thinking we woke up at five, but anyways, we did. We, did. Up at five, but we didn't really wake up. We woke up yeah. at five and then we got up at bed at 5.15, <laughs> packed up and all that. We did pretty good though anyways, so I will, um, I guess I'll update you guys when we get back to camp. Uh, we're probably going to try to hike out today, day early, just to, we did everything there is to do, so, yeah. This is the trail down the Santanoni. I'd recommend going just going up to uh, Times Square and doing it all at once, like all three at once, and coming down this way instead of up it, because it's it's, it's found a way to be muddy and steep at the same time, which is a very rare occurrence. And it just uh, yeah, it's not pleasant even to go down. So wouldn't recommend this route, but. Uh, Definitely the other route. It's pretty good. So the rest was pretty uneventful, meaning that we made it out safely. Um, I definitely recommend this hike. It was a whole lot of fun to do. Um, if you liked the video, found it helpful, subscribe for more, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.